Hey, I'm Brent. You're watching Steam Culture, where we take steam and culture and make the connection. And we're going to do that today by telling you the story of Evil Knievel. You know, I remember Evil Knievel growing up. He was awesome. Cultural icon in the 70s, 60s era, where he would do crazy things like organize a global television audience to watch him jump 13 school buses in Wembley Stadium in front of 80,000 people. And of course, here you can see the wipeout. Everyone loved the wipeouts. That's what he was known for. But he was also known for an epic stunt where he was going to jump Snake River Canyon in Idaho in a rocket. I didn't realize until recently that that was a steam-powered rocket. Now, of course, he didn't make it. The parachutes deployed early, and he came crashing down. A lot of drama around the parachute deployment. You can go out and Google that and read it. But an Eddie Braun uh, did this in September of 2016. Eddie Braun's a stuntman, big Evil Knievel fan from his childhood. And he made it, jumped the whole Snake River Canyon in a steam-powered rocket. Now, apparently what makes this possible is something called a converging, diverging nozzle, or called a De Laval nozzle. Shaped like an hourglass, the magic's in that pinch section where a hot gas can come in at subsonic speeds, and when it goes through that little pinch section of the nozzle, comes out at supersonic speeds. And that's where they're able to generate enough thrust to launch them over 2,000 feet and over 400 miles an hour. So there you have it on Steam Culture, the converging divergent nozzle and Evil Knievel, who I was excited to tell you about because I thought he was super cool. So go out and Google Evil Knievel. And while you're out there, Google us because we'll have content for you. We're working hard for you. Each and every week we put something out that hopefully you will enjoy. So come join me next week. I'm gonna have something hopefully as cool as Evil Knievel. There is nothing cooler than Evil Knievel. So join me anyway, it'll be cool, I promise.